welcome to my channel. It's a really, really, really good channel full of stuff, lots of information, lots and lots of information, like about building walls, build a wall, and, and, and don't, don't watch any of the other channels, all liars, all, all liars, just fraud. They just don't tell the truth. It's all lies, 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 lies. What's up, guys? Steven Johnson stocks. Don't know how you feel this morning, but I've had three coffees and I feel like a fucking rock star. So let's go straight into it. Basically, we're on a bit of a tour this morning. So I've been spending the last few hours annotating different charts, okay? And what I'm gonna do with these charts is I'm gonna have this wall dedicated to long setups and this wall dedicated, once I move this closet, to short setups. I'm gonna literally cover the walls. And then once I've covered the walls, I'm probably gonna have a mat down here. I'm gonna pray there five times a day and I'm gonna be like Wayne and Goth from Wayne's World. And I'm gonna be like, I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy. Hey guys, another very, very good week making record winning percentages. I was actually up this week, but I just lost it. Just on the final trade tops so was a bit of a daft trade, but that's okay because I'm a doer. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a fucking goer. I make things happen. I'm like a train, toot toot. I'm just fucking running with it. I'm just racing with it until I make it profitable. But let's hit some trades. John Roberts, I messed up your tweet the other day. I'm sorry, brother. Uh, actually, it wasn't him saying some hate. He's a cool guy and he's been following the journey for a while to Jamaica. Thank you to Jamaica. Biakan, give me some Biakan, brother. Give me some Biakan, brother. Yes, John, we're going to Jamaica. Speedy Spirit, you're effing funny. I don't know what F means, but I can guess. Marble, we will not fail, we will not fail, brother. We are heading to Jamaica. Bjorn, you're gonna make it with you too, brother. With you too, because hard work pays always. And the gaming trader, he's been following us for the long term. And he was saying, you're gonna, you need to get into some shorting, brother. Not on this one, but in another one. And I'll say, brother, as soon as I get the $10,000 in my account, I'm talking about the 8,000 next month, I will be shorting. But meantime, let's get into the fucking action. Let's get into the trades. Trades! I love I love this part of the video and I love giving it to you guys because there's again some real real signs of progression here I mean you can see that like I was kind of a one-hit wonder here I went from 20% to 10% to 1% and then I was like I thought it was it was all happening a bit too fast I was, I was growing too quickly and then obviously I came back to 10% and then grinded down to 8% and now 3% and I was actually down to 1% before I threw 75 bucks away on a silly trade with tops just a bit emotions got in the way a little bit but the difference is is like in July I was a one hit wonder like I had one good trade and that saved me and in, in November I was a one hit wonder like I was like vanilla ice I was like ice ice baby I was like a one hit wonder and uh, you, and I'm not vanilla ice like you will see me again and what I like about this is I was really grinding like really up in me winning percentage and I was like, I was grinding and I'm not talking about the application on mobile that men use to find and, and kiss other men. I'm not talking about grinder the app. I'm talking about me grinding out results. And um, I'm more like George Michael, but I, again, another gay analogy. Like I, I'm not attracted to men at all. I mean, I respect many, but I'm just not attracted to men. Um, and just that doesn't do it for me. And if anything, I'm just obsessed with women. But not that is not the point the point is i was grinding not like the dating application i was grinding the results out not like george michael either but kind of like george michael but i was really i'm more like like guns and roses or or who else is like famous like tina turner or like or like queen that like freddie mercury is also another but i was really grinding the results out and and like on the, on the, I mean, and, and it shows I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm down like only 3% on my account and I am moving to profitability. I am getting there, but yeah, maybe it'll take March, April, May, maybe it will. But as long as the stats get better, as long as I can maintain this and maintain this, then it's really looking solid. And, um, it's the same with the days I'm monitoring me green, red days. I mean, over the last five weeks, I'm actually down 27 bucks, which is nothing. And this is including commissions. And then it's just a few bad, I was actually up about 50 bucks this week before today, closed pretty weak, but it's getting pretty solid, like two green days, red day, two green days, red day, one green day, two red days, oh, it's really two green days and two red days, and then two red days and a green day, then a red day, then two green days, then a red day. It's really coming together because 
A couple of months ago, every single day was a red day. Every single one. Like I'd have one green day in 10 days or almost no green days ever. So it is really, I'm really on the cusp of change. It's really exciting, but just bear with me guys. It's gonna take another few months. Zsan, familiar trade on everyone's radar. Gapped up, blow off top volume, 30, 40 million shares traded. Uh, and then it runs again after consolidating, which is kind of Tim Grittani-esque kind of breakout pattern that he mentions in his DVD. Um, I was trading it multiple times, multiple times. So it really ramped up uh, in, the mo in the morning. I wasn't there, I was at work. Um, had this kind of, kind of heavy pullback. Started making a beautiful, nice U-shaped pattern, and I was like, ah, U-shaped pattern, they don't always work. I was like, ah, I could buy it in the 240s. And I was like, no, because they don't always work. Be careful, it's up a lot. And then I watched it kind of rip up following the AMAs, and I was like, right, now definitely getting it to break out higher day. Um, and I was just looking for a point to get in, and uh, I actually took a bit of a chance. I got in on this little pullback, because it wasn't pulling back at 273. Uh, ramped right up, and then I was expecting maybe one more big green candle little pullback and then when it was kind of getting choppy in here i was out 294 and then it consolidated a while up and down a little bit and then what do you know crazy breakout again and then for this trade uh, it was tough because it was as soon as it broke out this resistance level i was thinking okay it's making this little trend how can i get in again it's always tough to get in this stock um and i managed to get in kind of yeah, 332 on this pullback. But what I was aware of is, is this is one pullback. This is two pullbacks. This is three pullbacks. This is the kind of the fourth pullback. So it's really not got much legs. And then when it had this kind of crack, uh, I was I was ready to get out. I was lucky that it turned out a profitable trade because I was expecting it to be a losing one. But I was I was in at uh, 332, a decent pullback, but a pullback more than I thought. And then I was out at kind of 341. I just sold into strength here because I was like, I'm not even risking it. And that's it. So this is CNBX. You can see that the cannabis sector is heating up. It's so gone from the 130s to the 4s now. And this was influencing CNAB. Um, and as you can see, it's um, it's kind of, it broke out of this range and then it had a red day. But then it really broke out on a, a multi-month breakout. And um, this stock can run. If you look back in time, it had four green days, three green days, two green days, two green days. And I was thinking, could this be a second green day? And it actually looks like it's about to go right to green here. And it maybe it'll have a back to back second green day and run to the 230s. Um, so for me, I was seeing it push into the close and I swung it. This was yesterday. Um, I was hoping it would end up in the 70s, but it, so I could dip by it. But it, I just ended up having to chase it up a little bit into the 90s. Um, got in on this kind of little red candle here in the 90s. Uh, watched it go up to the twos, and then today, uh, CNBX was tanking in the morning. Um, I'll, I can actually quickly show you. So because it had this tank. Uh, CNAB was ultimately going to do the same. It just was a matter of time. So I actually sold half. I was meant to sell half at 202 and sell the other half, let it give it a chance to 207, but I accidentally sold, sold my whole position at 202. So I could have made an extra few percent, but I mean, I made 6% on the trade um, before it crashed. So it's not a bad trade. And, and had CNBX not washed out, it, I mean, I think it would have broke out. Uh, tops this this was a real disappointment because we'd seen it it ran gapped up huge and then ran again and everyone's expecting it to kind of do the same but it didn't it ran and then sold all the way off when it was expected to really run big just couldn't do it or it, as of now it couldn't do it um so i was i was watching this all the time thinking let it wash out let it go red to green because the last time it, it washed out and went red to green and spiked it might still do that today um, so it was a nice little plan, thinking, right, wash out red to green. And I don't think this is a bad play ba based on the history. So, I mean, I was I was right in here. Um, Spike failed, and then it, it was making this U-shape. And I was waiting for a decent entry. And when I saw this red candle, little pullback, I thought, right, I'll just get this little... It's, it's broke up. I'll get this little pullback, and hopefully it's going to push red to green like it did six months ago. And when it didn't, I was just... I mean, I was in at 450, and I was out at 445. 
So it really wasn't a bad trade. Um, I lost like five, six, seven cents a share, but I mean, it's nothing. It's one, two percent. The error came where I actually lost, because I only lost like 20 bucks on that. Not a bad trade, I don't think. The error came when I was gutted that I'd lost and CNAB hadn't worked out as good as I thought it was going to. And I just got a bit too influenced. And I've got a new rule now. Every time I make a losing trade, I'm not trading. I'm walking away from the computer for five minutes and coming back. Because what I did is I just thought, oh, I'll just jump back in on a really small position. What's the worst that's going to happen? It, it, the bigger picture normally works out. And as soon as I bought in, I bought in 450 and it just slams. And, and this sideways price action isn't really a good sign. And it just slammed. And uh, I was like, all right, it'll come back. It'll bounce. Wait for the bounce. And uh, it wasn't really bouncing. So I just got out 46, took a big loss. And it did bounce in the end of the 430s. Um, and it'll, I think it's still got a shot at this stock. But we'll see. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed watching it. While you were watching it, I was just thinking about Wayne's World when that girl asks Garth to shoot his husband. I need to watch that movie again, but too much studying to do first. If you liked it, follow us on the social channels, Stephen Johnson Stocks, lots more content coming that way. Stephen John 87 Snapchat, I'll put all the channels here. I have been learning with Tim. Granted, not profitable yet, but you can see over the last seven months, four months in the challenge, I've got more and more and more consistently towards profitability and it's cons it's exclusively through Tim's trading using stocks to trade so if you want to be on my path hit us up let us know and let's talk about it otherwise I'll see y'all later I'll see y'all later